I accidentally came across this one and I thought it may be interesting to see how does it work and what's inside. So here you have many LEDs, there are 6 in the center and 12 in the outer circle, so it's 18 LEDs in total. Here we have a switch, it has 3 positions, it's off, on 1, on 2, it seems like low brightness and the high brightness. Okay, there's a handle and some strange, what is this? I don't know, there is some indicator LED. So, this LED doesn't work anymore. No matter what I do, it just doesn't turn on. I don't see any battery compartment to open. So, how do I replace the batteries? So, actually, we are not supposed to change the batteries in this one. You are supposed to recharge them using this strange plug. The problem is what kind of socket I am supposed to plug it in. Because it looks like European socket. It has two pins, the same diameter, same distance. But I just can't put it into the European socket. The check one, but other European sockets probably can't accept this one as well because the sockets are actually hollow. I can't plug it in. I have exactly the same problem with this Chinese charger. Unlike the normal charger, it has a very short plug and I just can't put it into the socket. It just doesn't work. This one is good. It works. So it seems like the Chinese makers don't realize the shape of the European socket and they don't realize that the socket is hollow and you need a longer plug to Another problem is that those pins are not plastic sleeves, so they are definitely not compliant with European safety. So let's open it up. Oh, there were two screws I already removed. And this one. And it comes to bits. So here you can see all the internals. There is the reflector with 18 LEDs. Three screws I've already removed. And here it comes. So here you see 18 LEDs. Those seem very small, so I think they are just the basic 5mm LEDs, each one is about 20 to 30 milliamps. There's the board, nothing from the back side. And here I see many resistors 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, there seems like 18 resistors. So it actually has one resistor for each LED. This looks strange. Because normally the Chinese guys will put just one resistor for all those LEDs in parallel, but those were really generous to put 18 resistors into it. Interesting. And there are three cables, not just two. And this is because of the switch has two positions, so there's low and high brightness. And normally they switch the brightness by changing resistor. One resistor for low and one for high, but in this case it is, it seems like Low brightness only turns on 6 LEDs and the high brightness probably turns on all 18 LEDs. What's the next? There is some kind of battery or rechargeable battery probably and the charging circuit. And this one definitely looks really dodgy. There's the plug, very dodgy plug and charger circuit. And it seems to be just a normal capacitive dropper. And there's the capacitor, bridge rectifier, two resistors, indicator LED. There's a capacitor, it is one microfarad rated 200 
50 volts but actually there is no AC symbol oh no this looks like this capacitor is actually rated 250 volts DC 250 volts DC for the mains voltage so now, now I'm not sure is it for 230 or 120 or what voltage I'm supposed to plug it in strange so there's a bridge rectifier capacitor discharge here we have a discharging resistor to discharge this capacitor and this resistor is this is in series with the LED so just limit the current in the LED and there is no inrush limiting resistor so when you plug it in there's absolutely nothing to limit the inrush of the capacitor and the battery wow the battery has a belch on it here and here I don't know what happens to this battery was it overheating somehow so maybe there was internal short and it melted like this or maybe it was overcharging nobody knows and there's absolutely no marking of this battery whatsoever nothing written on it so I have no idea what voltage and capacity it may be is it like 6 volts or 4 volts it looks like a lead acid battery definitely it's lead acid but I don't know what is the voltage uh, this capacitor really scares me because it really is rated 250 volts DC so when you are charging it off at 240 volts mains you basically have peak voltage of 340 volts across this capacitor well beyond its rating so when this capacitor accidentally goes short there is absolutely nothing to limit the current so you basically put the mains voltage through the bridge rectifier and directly into the battery and this may actually explain why this battery is partly molten Another problem is that there is absolutely no fuse, no fusible resistor, no inertia resistor to limit the current. So this is absolutely horrible fire safety. It's also not very safe because it's not mains isolated. When you are charging it the entire circuit is connected to mains voltage. But on the other hand it's isolated by this plexiglass, this plastic cover. The switch has this big plastic cover on it, so it should be good. The battery is isolated, everything is isolated. I'm not sure about this one LED because it sticks out, but still the top is plastic, so I don't know if this is compliant or not, but at least the tip of the LED is plastic. But this one is not very safe because it's not plastic sleeved. So you could possibly get shock from it, but you will have to insert it into some socket first. I actually don't have any socket to insert it into. So let's draw a schematic of it. So here you have a mains coming in. There's the capacitor, the discharging resistor over it. Means. 390k and this is one microfarad 250 volts actually DC and this goes to the bridge rectifier and the bridge rectifier goes into the battery then we have the switch it's a three position switch and there are LEDs to the low and there is another 12 LEDs so let's just draw one it's 12 times this one and connected to other and probably it's somehow 
in this position the switch actually turns on both probably so in total we have 18 LEDs and each LED has a resistor they are all the same they are 22 ohms each one those LEDs are 5 millimeter probably 20 or 30 milliamps And this battery, I think actually it is 4 volts, lead acid battery. Because those LEDs need about 3 volts, so I think they wouldn't waste a 3 cell 6 volt battery on it. They probably put 2 cells battery which has about 4 volts rated voltage. And finally there is this strange charging indicator which has a resistor and probably a red LED. With 330 ohms resistor and it's connected this strange way. So it sees one half wave of the AC voltage and it's actually not connected directly to the battery because it would discharge the battery when it's not plugged in. So Basic problems of this circuit are there is no inrush limiting resistor, so, so the entire circuit suffers from inrush currents. Another problem is there is no fuse. And another problem is this capacitor, which is rated 250 volts DC. So if you plug it into 240 volts AC, you have a peak DC voltage of 340 volts here. And with the main deviation of 10% usually it gives you voltage up to 373 volts which equals to about 149% of the rating of this capacitor. The problem is the current in those LEDs because you have 4 volt battery minus 3 volts across those LEDs and it gives you about 1 volt over those resistors and the current would be oh, voltage divided by resistance 0 0.045 amps and that's 45 milliamps about twice the current so I wouldn't recommend using this one because the plug can give you electric shock even if you manage to plug it in, which I didn't actually manage. And there is underrated capacitor, no fuse. And I wouldn't actually dare to leave this charging overnight because you never know what can happen. The huge size actually looks very promising, but it's mostly empty. There is just small battery, very tiny charging circuit and really tiny LEDs just 5mm LEDs, no cooling at all, no heating so it says built in high up to 1500 mAh free maintenance sealed lead acid rechargeable battery long life battery which can be cycled to drain and change up to more than 250 times for using Oops. It should be bulbs probably. LT can save electricity. So the voltage is 110 to 240 volts. This is what I was afraid of. So they are actually putting 240 volts across this capacitor which is not rated to it. To change the lamp push out the AC plop totally and direct direct eye plop 12 hours are needed at a full charge time. Number 2 switch, fork word. It can be lighted continuously about 24 hours for low switch and 8 hours for high switch. The product is always in off state during charging so as to avoid bumming from LED bulbs and inner circuit. So we have to avoid bumming. 
as you can see those LEDs are already black inside. Can you see it? And finally let's do some calculations. So in the manual they say that the capacity of the battery is 1500 mAh and the charging time is 12 hours. So if this is true then uh, the charging voltage let's say is 240 volts 50 hertz and the charging capacitor in series to limit the current is 1 microfarad. So I calculated the current is 75 milliamps. So if we keep charging the battery using 75 milliamps times 12 hours, we get the charge of 900 milliamps. So even at the highest possible mains voltage, we cannot actually reach the full charge of the battery. We will charge it just to 900 milliamps, not the full 1,500. And if your voltage is one. 110 volts, 50 hertz, the current will be just 35 milliamps and the charge of the battery will be 35 milliamps times 12 hours and gives just 420 milliamp hours, just a small fraction of the given capacity. That's strange.